is the last letter in the alphabet, so the game that has three of these in its name is 100% a trash game that will never surpass Genshin and it's bound to be a failure. It's the same as Hongshit Starbucks. That game is an absolute failure, trust me. To begin with, they have combat. Combat that is easy to learn and hard to master. As they said, what kind of bullshit is that? Genshin combat is the best combat ever. You know why? Because you don't need to master it. All you need is EQ swap. EQ swap is the peak gameplay. That's why it's impossible to surpass. Warriors should just work on Genshin, not all these trash games that will never be as good. And where are my mini games that I can play with one button? Why use multiple buttons when you can just use one? That's big gaming for you. And they are giving too many rewards. Too many rewards make players entitled. Players should be grateful for three wishes. If they aren't, they might as well uninstall the game. Because they are useless freeloaders. And they don't appreciate the game enough. Players should be grateful for even one wish. Because one wish is one debate club. And debate club is the best weapon in the game. Well, you might say, Genshin gave a lot of rewards on release. Well, they made a mistake. And they realized this mistake and cut the amount of rewards significantly. And it was the right choice. And of course, the worst crime ever is the fact that they nerfed Nicole's boobs. Never nerfed the booba. It's illegal. That's why this is an absolute failure. Nobody cares about it. The only piece of news about this game is two of the largest gacha content creators fighting over some stupid collaboration round table thing. It's not even a proper collab. That's how bad the state of the game is. They're good now though. It's all fine. The gacha community isn't gonna go down in flames. Or maybe we're just perpetually going down in flames anyway. Stuck in this samsara of misery. Going from one drama to another endlessly without a chance for escape. While this is a trash game that will never surpass Genshin, it can surpass the other trash game that will never surpass Genshin. Because Hoya made it. Go on and give money to Daddy Hoyvers. Hoya is done for. They are the same. One game has dodge and counter, and the other game has dodge and counter too. All games with dodge and counter are the same. They are both for sweaty nerds that can't understand the genius of Genshin Impact. They just put the Z release date on the same date update 1.1 of Hoya was supposed to release. Just to tell you that you should stop playing the trash game of course stop playing trash switch over to whoever's titles play all the whoever's game let them own your ass what can be better than being owned by whoever's they're gonna treat you well i promise all right all right time to have a very serious talk on a very serious topic of course Hating on every gacha game that is releasing is a good old tradition, so I had to participate in it. This is the one trend I'm not late for. I've seen many critical comments about Zenless Zone Zero, and many people loudly proclaiming that they are not gonna play this trash. And it looks like that communities have started fighting again. This battle will be legendary and very counterproductive, of course. It's fine to prefer one game over another. And it's fine to dislike certain games. But I think the attitude has more to do with their release date stunt. And maybe Yomiholic contract leaks and the fact that it is a Hoya game. And not with the actual state of the game. But if you dislike the game, it doesn't mean that the game is gonna fail or that it is bad. Also, in the first beta, it was a game about TVs. And everybody hated that. They fixed it, as far as I know. Is ZZZ going to kill Wuwa? No, it isn't. End of the video. Bye. Just kidding. Both games are advertised as combat oriented, and they both have similar elements of combat, aka dodges and counters and stuff. So, comparisons between them aren't justified to a degree, but they have enough differences so they can stand on their own. For example, one game is open world, and the other isn't. So if you enjoy open world exploration and a little bit of grinding, like I do, you might not enjoy ZZZ that much. And if you don't like grinding and open world stuff, ZZZ will be a better choice for you. Both games have nice flashy combat animations, but the combat in these games, while having similar elements, is bound to feel different. I fully expect combat in ZZZ to be slower paced and more casual than in WUA. And I don't think the enemies are going to punish you that much for making mistakes. And I don't think there will be enemies capable of one-shotting you. After all, Hoyvers have only been making pretty casual games this whole time. On Game Book 3rd, the Hoyer game closest to ZZZ in terms of combat isn't particularly fast-paced, and the victory there is determined by how well you know your team rotation and what kind of gear you have. I hope that combat in ZZZ isn't going to be a complete slop like in Genshin, where you can ignore pretty much all enemy moves, mash random buttons and win, if your DPS is high enough. But imagine what can happen to ZZZ if a bunch of mint pickers come from Genshin and start complaining that it's too hard and the devs listen to them. I don't even want to think about it. Oh my goodness, that would be terrible. Of course, in terms of art style and character designs, the games are also quite different. 
Each game has its own advantages and disadvantages. And each game will have its own core audience. And you can play both of them. It's not like gacha games require that much time. Or you can only play the one you like and avoid the other one. It's all good, but why the heck is the file size so huge? Well... I have the answer. It is all because of Nico's humongous booba. That's why they had to reduce it. If they hadn't done it, the game would be like 200 GB and nobody would be able to install it on mobile devices. 